A few firsts happen at today's Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors meeting, beginning with a new board chair. Welcome. Los Angeles to, County um, Supervisor uh, Janice Hahn officially taking over as board chair today, a role held this last year by 2nd District Supervisor Holly Mitchell. And so I look forward to having the opportunity to be led by you, Madam Chair. And in her new role, Madam Chair Hahn ushered in a new board today when she introduced the board's newly elected youngest member, its first millennial, Lindsay Horvath. Welcome, Supervisor Horvath, to the county family. Thank you so much. Horvath replaces Sheila Kuehl in the West Side's 3rd District. I want to thank our staff in District 3. Also new today, Han, who helped oversee the return of Bruce's Beach to the Bruce family in her District 4, explained every board meeting will now begin with reading a land acknowledgement to recognize impacted tribal communities that had their land taken. Local tribe members on hand. The County of Los Angeles recognizes that we occupy land originally and still inhabit and cared for by the Tongva, the Tataviam, the Serrano, the Quiche, and the Chumash peoples. Another change, the board rolling back some early pandemic era rules restricting public testimony, pledging to give constituents more time. The so public can now comment throughout the entire meeting, snow. not just it's the first 90 minutes. In the name of equity, please vote in favor of the park needs assessment. One of the agenda items unanimously adopted today, a countywide assessment of local parks designed to identify, protect, and restore neglected areas. The goal is to increase green and recreational spaces, especially in lower income communities. And over here on the other side, um, Green spaces are scarce. Supervisor Hahn, aye. Motion carries five to zero. The assessment adopted today seeks to make sure every LA County resident lives near a safe and accessible park. A lot of changes today at the Board of Supervisors. And they deal with a lot of big issues. We're talking COVID rules and the Sheriff's Department. So this public comment issue matters to a lot of people. Oh, absolutely. And to that end, they are now making it so that you can comment on each agenda item as they're presented prior. Mm -hmm. It was the first 90 minutes public comment mm -hmm. only, and then they would tackle the agenda items. Now those public comments can be heard throughout. We'll see how long the meeting goes. That's right. It's, <laughs> it's, a, long, it's a long meeting, that's for sure.